Regarding Social Security, where vital benefits are a lifesaver for millions of people in categories including retirement, disability, survivors, spouse support, and SSI, a new information has come to light that warrants discussion. It's a call to address a major inequality that has existed for far too long and has the ability to change the lives of more than 71 million recipients nationwide. Imagine a proposal that calls for an incredible 63.4% rise in Social Security payouts. You did really hear correctly. A raise this size may completely change the financial picture for a great number of people by adding hundreds and hundreds of dollars to their monthly income. But first, let's pause to think before we go into the specifics of this idea. Just consider how much of an impact such a large rise would have on your own life. This is not a trick question. It has an obvious answer. For the vast majority of those dependent on these benefits, such a modification would surely be life-changing, providing a relief from financial hardship and uncertainty. Let's now analyze the data and identify the fundamental problems at hand. In the 23-year period from 2000 to 2023, there was an 81.2% increase in Social Security payouts. This number would appear admirable at first glance showing how adaptable the system is to the demands of those it serves. But this rise is insignificant when compared to the realities of rising living costs, which include housing, transportation, food, health care, and other expenses. Living costs for beneficiaries on fixed incomes increased by an astounding 144.5% in the same time frame. The stark contrast between benefit increases and the exponential rise in costs presents a dismal image, with current cost of living adjustments, COLAs, failing to close the growing deficit. The core of the issue is the disparity between the planned and actual effectiveness of COLAs in achieving the goal of matching benefits to the true cost of living. The data indicates that there is a significant 63.4% difference between the two, indicating a systematic inability to appropriately handle the changing needs of Social Security claimants. The accuracy of the Consumer Price Index CPI data, which are supposed to be the basis for these COLAs, may be questioned. It's clear that the existing criteria don't adequately capture the financial reality that recipients face if the difference between benefit increases and actual costs is any guide. A glimpse of hope is provided by proposed measures, including switching from the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers CPIW, to the Consumer Price Index for the Elderly, CPIE. Still, these metrics might not be enough to fully account for the range of costs that retirees and people with disabilities face. A basic question is at the center of this matter. Are we really looking out for the interests of our most vulnerable citizens? It appears that the response is a loud nay. As proponents of social and economic justice, it is crucial that we elevate the voices of individuals impacted by these discrepancies and insist on significant reform. This necessitates taking strong, decisive action in a number of areas, including substantial health care and social security changes, as well as investments in affordable housing, education, and job creation. It necessitates a dedication to elevating the voices of individuals most impacted by these injustices and giving their perspectives a central place in the formulation of public policy. In the end, the struggle for a 63.4% rise in Social Security payments is about more than simply money. It's about respect, decency, and the core conviction that each and every person has a right to a reasonable and satisfying existence. It is time for us to unite as a society and demand that we all be treated equally and with justice.